Adam Marie Post Vox here with a 1080p 60 frames per second capture test using the Logitech Brio 4K webcam. Uh, running on the auto settings again. If you missed my unboxing, uh, I checked it out with a 4K sample test up in the YouTube card icon above, description down below. And they do have just a quick refresh. They do have a new uh, webcam settings app to help you kind of control the webcam. We are running at 1080p 60 here native within OBS. Uh, you can zoom in, move it around. The auto settings are going kind of wild because of the light in the background. I can cut some of that off. But their right light software does like to go to work. But it still does a good job working in low light. We'll do a direct comparison to some of their other webcams in a little bit. You can change brightness and contrast. Make it super punchy or... We're just going to leave it pretty natural. You do have manual focus option, color intensity. Again, I'm just leaving this all on auto so you can get an idea of what it normally looks like. Bright light is really making me blinding at the moment. I'm looking kind of ghostly. This is one of the problems of their automatic software. Let's turn that monitor away. I'm looking a little more realistic. There we go. And then again, we do have the three different field of view. So this is the super widescreen, 90 degree field of view here, uh, which is great for recording or like a widescreen video, multiple people. But if you're doing a solo stream, you don't want all this dead space for whatever reason going on. So then you can crop it in 78 degree field of view, 65 degree field of view, and back to 90. And again, that is a digital crop, but it is interesting how it works. We'll do a quick motion blur test here. Again, it is running auto, so it may not be the smoothest thing in the world, but it is supposed to be full 60 FPS. If we turn off the uh, the auto stuff, we should be able to get a little bit of something better going here. So auto exposure, I'm going to turn that off. Wow. Okay, that's minus 5. Minus 4. Minus 3. See, this is the problem. Uh, you, you all noticed in my other control video, different webcams like automatically change the control differently. So now this is back to minus five, which is where it said it was on auto. But if we bring it up, we start getting some frame rate choppiness and some ghosting. So this is why I try not to mess with them too much during my tests because it gets really strange. Uh, then the webcam freezes. There we go. Now it's back. All right, now it's doing some serious low light compensation. It's getting kind of grainy, uh, but I have like two big O studio bulbs here. Like these are some bright lights. It doesn't get a whole lot brighter than this and it's still, it's whatever. It, it's a webcam, it, it works. So we'll do more motion. You get that 60 FPS goodness and I'll go down and drop it to 30 in slow-mo for a minute so that you can see it. But this is what it looks like. This is a test. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful for your purchasing decision, since this is a 200 flipping dollar webcam, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, go check out my unboxing and 4K test. I'll be doing a 720p 90 test of some sort if I can in a moment, and I'll be doing some comparisons to the other webcams later on and having a lot of fun with it because I love these webcams. So I'm Evil's Vox. I got lots of webcam videos, playlists in the description. See you later. Leave a comment, let me know what you think.